And I'm here with Alicia Miller. Hi, Alicia. Hi. Good yeah, to have you this morning. Good to be here. Happy You're all sparkly. Here. I'm all sparkly. I love it. Even though it's early. I love it. I love a little bling. <laughs> Always room for bling. That's right. Yes. And you're here today to talk about, well, a couple of things. Uh, Teresa's restaurant is your part of the family, I'm right? I'm the family. I'm the fourth child of four and a half years. Wow. So I'm the caboose, but I never let them forget that they're older than I am, not by much. <laughs> always remind them of that. Once the baby, always the baby, Always right? the baby, yes. And how long is your family, what's your family's last name? Jerlani, right? Mm -hmm. is my maiden name, mm -hmm. and we are in the middle of our 92nd year. Oh my goodness. Wow. So my grandmother started in 1921, <clears throat> and my two brothers and my sister and myself continue to carry on that legacy right now. Wow. Yeah. I love that restaurant. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. We call that our work a hobby. Okay. <laughs> it's a labor of love, but a work a hobby for sure. Yes, yes. absolutely. And we're very excited about the upcoming event mm -hmm. this weekend. Mm -hmm. And that's the hot jazz party, so tell hot me your involvement party. in that. We've been participating and contributing to this hot jazz party, or jazz parties, for the 20 plus years. Oh, wow. And our venue, we think, is kind of unique because it's outside. Mm -hmm. And we have a beautiful arbor area, we have an outside fountain, we have an outside sound system. Um, we also have something new at Teresa's that we've added, which is a wood-fired pizza oven. Oh, great. Oh, I that love that. was from, imported from Italy, and my brothers installed it. So that's kind of a new thing. Uh, I guess every 92 years, you have to add something new to stay new and fresh. Yes, absolutely. So we're excited about having and that's them. really popular, It is. outdoor oven. It is. So yeah. you can sit outside, you can have mm -hmm. pizza, you can have beer, you can have wine, mm -hmm. just enjoy the day. And this weather couldn't be better. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's a perfect time of year for that. And we need good weather this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We yes, we, can. we don't care what Richard says yeah. <laughs> about the rain. Yeah. Yeah, true. Absolutely. So you're, um, are you, do you do any of the cooking? None of the no. cooking. Lots of the tasting. We yeah. call that quality control. <laughs> I do the meat, seed, and greet. Mm -hmm. So usually on Fridays and Saturdays, you'll see me there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. answering the phone and, and greeting customers and seating them and getting them situated. So we all have our little designated tasks yeah. as a family. It's a family, a labor of love, isn't it? It, it? Yeah. absolutely mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. and, and my grandmother instilled that in us at a very, very young age. Now, what part of Italy did she come from? My grandmother was from Villafranca, which is she's Toscana, up okay. in the, the mountains near Milan. And my grandfather is from Luca, which is the olive oil uh, not capital, but that's where a lot of the olive oil is from in Italy. Now, how about brought her to Amador County? This from is Italy. A, this is an odd story. Her 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 father was married and had two sons, and his wife died, and he remarried and had several more sons, and then my grandmother was born. Well, he thought it would be nice to name her after his first wife. Mm. Well, she didn't appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So my grandmother was like Cinderella. She sat at home and cooked and cleaned for all of her brothers. Oh, wow. A man named Mr. Vince Aguera came to this country, got a job in this county, went back to get his fiancée, and she couldn't get a green card. And my grandmother was near the dock, and he said, if you'll marry me, you can come to America. Whoa. So at 16, she left everything she knew. Couldn't read or write English or Italian. Wow. I mean, it's, yeah, it's and a long I mean, so sure she Saved was. Saved her money. No Saved education. Her money, no education. And, wow. She, as, mm -hmm. as she got older, she memorized the driving test. She learned to drive. If they put a stop sign up after she learned to drive, she didn't stop because it wasn't there when she took the test. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, she memorized where the alcohol was when she mixed a drink because she couldn't read the so labels. So she started the restaurant on her she own? She started the restaurant. Or did her, did her husband help her? Her or? husband, well, I don't know if he was hindered to help. He, he attended <laughs> bar initially. Uh -huh. Then he went back to Italy, and mm -hmm. he passed away in Italy. I did not meet him. Okay. Um, she learned to, like I said, to drive a car, and she learned to sign her name, and she could dial the phone. Wow. So she was, by our standards, illiterate. But I, she had huge determination, sounds very like. Very good heart, very good work ethic, mm -hmm. and uh, she found something she loved, which was cooking. Yeah. So she was self-contained there at the restaurant. Other than flour and sugar, she went to town for nothing. She had pigs, chickens, cows. She had a garden. She had a grape arbor. Um, so she learned how to recycle early on and to be self-sufficient. I love that. I love yeah. that story. That's an amazing story. And so now, all these years later, 92 years later, 92. you guys are still going strong. We're we're hanging in there, absolutely. Yeah. And we have the next generation interested in participating. Good. So we're encouraged by that. Yes. Because none of us are getting any younger. Yes. But yeah. we're all still very involved. We all have our little detailed tasks that we do, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's a fun atmosphere, and, and, and it's something we love to do. Yeah. And it's a beautiful restaurant. And so, what are the times that you are involved with the jazz party? Um, because it's they, it rotates around. It or starts at eleven and runs till six. Okay. And there are seven bands. 
I think the bands rotate every hour, hour and 20 minutes. So okay. there, there's a free shuttle provided by the Rancheria. Oh, great. So if you want to follow a band, you can. We found that people love being outside where we are. Mm -hmm. So you stay there and the bands will rotate to you. Love it. We're offering a light meal outside. Mm -hmm. And there's a full bar. There's area to dance. There's covered patio. Mm -hmm. And if you want to eat inside, you can do that as well. I love it. This yes. is like a great day. And this is this Saturday, right? This Saturday, the 27th. Mm -hmm. For the first time on Saturday. It's always been historically on a Sunday. Okay, good. So Should be a good turnout then. Saturday is maybe a little bit busier, right? It is, and I think people are anxious to get outside and enjoy themselves mm -hmm. and, and have fun on the weekend. And it's an ideal uh Do they need cause. to make reservations? Um, no, you, you buy your tickets online. Okay. Or you can contact the JBCA, 223-1263. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And the day of is 25 If you get it prior to that, it's $20. Okay, good. So get your tickets quickly because I'm sure it's going to be a sellout. And you can buy them at the menu that day. Oh, good. Okay. Yes. All right, good. Yeah. It's always good to plan in advance. Absolutely. Though, right? <laughs> good. Well, thank you, Alicia, for being on today. Thank you for having me. Are you going to stick around for the end of the show? Actually, I have a therapy dog. I'm going to class at the grammar school for them to read to her. Okay. Well, yes. That sounds important. But thank you. Yes. All right. Thank you. We'll wrap it up for you then. And we're going to head to an ad break. We'll be right back.